Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can already tell by the title down below what we're going to be cooking in today's kitchen. As you can see, these scrimps are humongous. I got these scrimps and those snow crab legs from BJ. So if you was wondering where I got them from, that's where I got them. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. This brand is one of my favorite rice to be making yellow rice. So as you can tell, we will be having rice too. Now in this bowl, as you can see, it's so much type of seafood. That right there is octopus, believe it or not. Don't mind my nails, don't come for it, you know. But that is octopus. The next one that I picked right there, that is squid. Yes, guys, no, we would not be eating these. I'm showing you that I'm basically gonna be taking those stuff out. And also in here comes with scallops or scallops, however you say it. I'm also gonna be taking those out. The only stuff I will be leaving in here are the mussels and the little baby scrimps. So that's it. So if you want, you can leave all the other seafood that I mentioned. But um, for me, I'm gonna be taking them out as you can see, just the octopus and squid and the scallops, but everything else, as far as the little baby scrimps and the mussels, those are the only thing that I will be leaving in the bowl. So there you have it. I'm done picking everything that I needed to pick out from that bowl. As you can see, this is all that I'm using and about to clean. So as I was picking out the squid and the octopus out from the bowl, I have my um, pot of water from my rice already boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my yellow rice so it can cook. Um, all I added in this water was just my extra virgin olive oil and that's it. I didn't have did no salt or nothing cause the rice already comes seasoning. If you want, you could go ahead and um, put extra seasoning if you want so what I did just put the water in there to get the extra seasoning that was stuck in the bottom of that uh, container and just dumping it right back into the pot So our water is boiling into our rice so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my Cajun shrimp seasoning mix as you guys can see this I got from Winn-Dixie I'm not sure where else you could get it from I believe Publix as well but I got mine from Winn-Dixie From time to time, make sure you are like stirring your rice around in whatever pot you are using. Cause if you just let your rice just sit there while the water is boiling and everything, you're gonna have a lot of clumps of rice stuck at the bottom and gonna be burnt. So that's gonna be more rice that you will be basically wasting instead of eating. Here I added some black pepper. This is optional, you don't have to. You can add in whatever spice you want to at this time to whatever rice that you are using. Now while the um, water is kind of thickening, you could go ahead and add in the mussels and the scrimps at this time. And we just basically gonna mix that well in with the rice. This is mostly an island thing, so what you see me doing is getting a little bit of juice so I could taste um, how, if it's over seasoning or if it's under seasoning to see what I can add to make it more flavorful. So to cook in rice is basically, uh, I won't say a steady or kind of like a steady thing. So basically where you see that water right there, I just took a little bit just to taste again to see if it's under season or over season. And basically when you cook in your rice, you don't want none of that water or any liquid really in 
um in the pot like this so right now i got my um stove on medium high and until there's no water that you can see no water then i'll put it on low so now as you can see you barely can see any liquid bubbling so i'm right here just mixing in making sure all that liquid is going to the bottom so it could be evacuate evaporated or whatever since if i can't talk y'all know don't come for me but i'm just basically mixing it in one last time before i cover it so as you're gonna see me do i'm going to go ahead and take um a plastic bag to keep all that steam in the pot so the rice could cook faster and that really does help so after i put the bag i wet the bag whatever shopping bag under some water to make it moist and then i cover it over on top of the rice and then i put the pot cover on, on top And this fresh pot, you see a water. So I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling my scrimps and my snow crab. This is what we're gonna start off with. Some crawfish seasoning. And this season is bbomb.com. Go ahead at this time and mix in all those ingredients that we put in the pot well in. I added some oil. This is optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. Now wait until your water comes to a boil to start adding in the seafood. Our water starting to boil. I know I didn't wait till it boiled all the way. I couldn't wait anymore. So I went ahead and started adding all my seafood in. Now when you're Seafood waters really start boiling, really go ahead and add in the scrumps. Now I'm just gonna let them cook for a good probably 15, 20, 25 minutes. Whatever's your liking, you don't want them to overcook cause seafood doesn't take too long to cook. So just go ahead and eyeball them. So that's what I do when I cook. I really don't have no preference of any time. I just like to eyeball. So if I know the scrimps don't take too long to cook, so those will be the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and take out the water, um, all the scrimps, and then lastly I'll take my snow crabs out. Once finishing real, removing all the scrams, go ahead and take some of that um, water that we boiled the snow crabs and the scrams in, and I'll show you guys what we'll be doing with that liquid. So in on the nice clean pot, go ahead and add in some butter. That's what I'm going to be adding. This right here is what we're going to be making our sauce in with the added snow crabs and the scrunch. Now with some of that preservative water that we had took from the where the scrimps and the crab had cooked in, go ahead and add in some of that. Little by little, we'll be basically building up our sauce.
here I'm just add a dash of oil not too much I do have my stove on low medium heat so it don't get too hardened. Now that the sauce is mine to my liking and to the consistency that I want it, I'm going ahead and adding all my seafood from the snow crab to the scrimps. If you have to, go ahead from time to time and add some of that preservative water that we have saved and constantly have it on the side so you can add to your sauce. Now at this time, our sauce for our seafood, it is done. I hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and put on your post notification bell button so you don't miss a video whenever i post and i'll see you guys in my next video